Hey guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I got this makeup and hair look for my birthday. So let's get right into it. So all the products I'll be using in this video will be in the description below, so be sure to check that out for all the details. Anyways, so I started out by doing my everyday heatless hair tutorial the night before, so that way I get these heatless waves that are pretty much all I do. So that's super easy. <laughs> And then I put it up in a bun while I do my makeup. So I'm applying some foundation here after I put moisturizer on. And I actually want to start on my lashes. So I went ahead and curled my lashes and added some mascara. And I'm using a waterproof mascara because it holds a curl really well. And then I went ahead and did my eyebrows with the Anastasia Brow Pomade. So if you do your brows, go ahead and do that. So here I'm adding some falsies that look really natural and what I like to do is put them on and kind of squeeze them to my natural lash line. And what this basically does, it, it blends in the lash band really well so you can't really see much of the lash band and it kind of looks like a lot more natural that way. So I went ahead and did that and now I'm just adding some liner and I like putting lashes on before my liner so that way I can kind of adjust the liner to the way it looks with my lashes on already so that way I can add a little by little, maybe make the wing higher or lower depending on how it looks with the lashes I have on. Now I'm just applying some concealer to my under eye circles and my lids and blending it in. And this is also a great way to prime your lids when you're about to put some eyeshadow on. So I'm using this ColourPop eyeshadow in the color Desert. And what I'm doing is I'm just applying a little over my lid, but mainly on the crease area. So I'll be swiping this back and forth and adding more product in the outer and inner crease area and kind of leaving the lid a lighter brown. I'm trying not to add too much eyeshadow because I want the main focus to be on my lashes and to keep things a little bit more natural and light. So I'm just tight lining my eyes with this black eyeliner pencil and I find that this brings out the brown in my eyes and kind of makes it pop a little bit more. So I do that and then I go ahead and add a little bit of mascara to my bottom lashes and a little bit to the top. And now I'm going in with some more concealer just to kind of highlight this area even more. And as a final touch to this makeup look, I'm going in with some bronzer along my cheekbones and my jawline and the edges of my face just to add a little bit of warmth and a subtle contour. So as I mentioned earlier, I kind of wanted the focus to be more on my lashes, so I kept my lips really plain and just added some chapstick, but you can go in and add some lip gloss or lipstick depending on what you want to go for. So I kept it really natural and simple. So that is basically it for the makeup look. Now we'll move on to hair. So my hair is pretty much all done using my heatless wavy hair tutorial which I love so it'll only take a few more minutes to finish it but I do want to add some finishing touches. I'm using the Numi Titan 3 wand with the 25mm barrel and I do have some coupon codes for you guys. You can get 40% off and free shipping to the US and Canada with the code Vivacious or $100 off any Numi set with the code Dusk Till Dawn. So be sure to check out the description below and I'll include all of those there. So this is pretty much what it looks like after doing just the wavy hair tutorial. But I wanted to add a little bit more texture along the upper layer of my hair because it is kind of limp and I wanted to add just a little bit more detail. So I went ahead and took one inch section right by my face and I'm curling away from my face and I'm kind of just doing this throughout the hair in my top layer just to add a lot more definition. Once I'm done curling those sections, I like to use my fingers and run it through my hair just to make the curls a little bit more wavy and less structured. So that is all the heat you'll be using for this look. I love it's just a few touches, but it looks really put together and like you worked a lot of time into it, but really it took like five minutes. So now I'm adding some hairspray to set it all and adding some shine spray because when I do the heatless hair, it tends to dry out my ends a little bit because they're not as polished, but once you add some shine spray, you're good to go. So that is it for the hair.